All right, good morning campers. Today we are going to have a cactus tier list. So I saw these cact, well, I saw these tier lists and I figured, you know, make a nice one for some cacti, some cacti that I have around the greenhouse that I thought, you know, let's make this happen. So we got S, that's the highest tier. S is for superior, A, B, C, D. And then finally we have this last tier. Now this last tier is a special tier and it is only occupied by one type of cactus. Fake, that's right, so that is the fake tier. Any fake cactus is way below anything that we have here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna just grab up one of these cactus, I'm gonna look at it, and I'm gonna give it a value judgment. After I give it that value judgment, we'll move on to the next one. So we're gonna start off here with, there we go. Let's look at this guy here. He's got some buds on there, he's pretty cool. I wanna say he's a Hakujo, but I don't have my book with me right now. I don't know exactly for sure. Now, you might look at this bottom part right here and you'd be like, oh man, he's rotting. He's not rotting actually. He's actually doing what they call corking. This is where he's gonna get stronger to support a bigger top. So this guy right here, I'm gonna place him at B tier. There we go, I have him at B tier. Main reason I wanna say he's at B tier is, you know, he's different. He's not too different. He's a pretty good cactus, but he's not my favorite. Um, I haven't actually seen the flower on this one either. I haven't seen it in person, but you know, the buds are really nice. You can see that they do grow pretty well. Let's move on to another cactus. Whoop. Here we go. Some people call this the pincushion cactus. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Come on, focus for me, please. Well, anyway, it's a very fuzzy pincushion cactus. Everything in the background is focused, but not this. All right. So get closer now for this guy right here he has a more unique image to him I would say that he's in B tier still so I think he's in B tier but he's not you know I think he's a bit better than what we have here so basically I'm going to say across is going to be you know higher up so now let's go to something here oh goodness uh, I didn't get them all the same size. This guy right here, he's an Apuntia variety, and I have to be honest with you guys, I do not like this guy at all. See, he's got these long thorns. It really hurts when you get stuck by one of them. It feels like it gets shot into your hand. Terrible, 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 terrible. Now, as far as looks go, I don't find it appealing. This is my opinion, my tier list. I'm gonna put him in the D tier. So he's our first cactus in the D tier. This is about as low as we're gonna get. And this is the guy who I think is the best example of what a D-tier cactus, in my opinion, would be. Uh, I haven't seen any flowers on this guy, and I don't know if he gives off any fruit. If he does, that'd be super cool. Um, I don't know exactly what this one is either. It could be a prickly pear, you know. But I'm still putting him in D-tier. I don't like the way he looks. Now, on the other end, this right here is a serious Peruvi. And I have to say that this guy is, without a doubt, S tier. He's going in the S tier. He is a superior cactus. Not only is he much larger than these other cacti, which is not actually something I put into account for, but there are some really interesting things about him I want you to know. First of all, they give off beautiful white flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous and I love seeing them. Second part that I love about this cactus is it has a fruit to it and the fruit is wonderful. They call them you know what, I'm just not going to say what they call them because I'm not sure if it's the right thing to say. But I've heard them referred to as Peruvian apples. Super cool cactus, love it to death, definitely S tier cactus. It's also the kind of cactus you think about when someone says cactus. Now, got another one here for you. This is a blue cactus, that's the common name I hear it. It's not technically blue, it's like a bluish green. It looks pretty blue on the camera right now, and it is a lovely cactus. I'm going to have to put this in the A tier, and I'm putting it in A tier because it is just, you know, it's beautiful to look at. It's nice to have. The spikes aren't too crazy, like that uh, D tier Opuntia down there. Crazy spikes, you know, moderate spikes, maybe even on the smaller side. Easier to handle. Goes in A tier. So, yeah, pretty crazy. Let's go on to a moon cactus. Now, this moon cactus here, let me see if I can get it to focus again. It likes that jade. Nope. 
It's gonna be fuzzy. Oh well. So our moon cactus here, he's a pretty cool looking guy. He's got some definitely different markings to him. And he's got almost a purplish hue. Oh man, I really wish... Okay, you can kind of see it now. It's kind of purplish, kind of hue to him. Very nice looking cactus. Um, I would put him at high B tier. So I'm gonna put him high B tier. He's a pretty nice looking guy. I like moon cactus and they're good for grafting as well. Next one we're gonna go on to here. This is what has been referred to me as a blue monstrosis. Now is this the name of it? I'm not quite sure. But I do believe it is in the apple cactus family. It's a pretty nice looking guy here. Now he is different looking in appearance and that is something that I do factor into this quite heavily. If it looks good to me, I'm going to put it higher up. If it looks, you know, bad to me, I'm going to put it lower down. That's a pretty big part of it. Um, as far as spikes go, there aren't too many spikes. They're pretty small and in between. Makes handling this guy easy. And so I'm going to put him in the A tier. I just like the way he looks. I don't think he's an S tier per se, but I definitely think he is an A tier cactus. So far we can see the list. Let's keep going. Now, Fairy Castle Cactus right here. Now this is not the best example of it, but you can see it's got a unique appearance. It looks like they all clump together, they all grow out of one place. They grow extremely quickly. That's one thing I like about these guys as well. And with those things in mind, I'm gonna say that he is high A tier. So we're gonna put him in high A tier. We don't have any C's yet. If we don't have any C's by the end of this, we're probably just gonna end up bumping some of those B's down, the lower tier B's. Let's continue. So, okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have a C here. This guy, you know, just basic looking, kind of white fuzzy cactus. As far as I know about him, you know, C tier. I know all of these guys do give off flowers. But, you know, that's not getting into consideration right now. Because either one, I can't remember what they look like. Or, you know, two, I don't really care. And that C tier cactus, I really just don't care about him. He's so middle ground. I forget about him all the time. That's what I consider something C tier. D tier, I hate it. C tier is like, oh, I forgot about it. B tier, I like him. A tier, I really like him. S tier is like, yes, I need this. Now we're going here. We call these horse killers. I've heard them called other things before. Very similar to our A tier pin cushion cactus. And that's why I'm going to put him right next to him. So we're going to move moon cactus up a little bit knock him in there. Now, controversy time, Microdasio puntia right here. We've got a Microdasio puntia green with the cinnamon, well he's the cinnamon variety, that's what people call him. What would I rank this guy at as far as a tier list goes? It's really hard to say, but I'm gonna have to put him in C tier. So a lot of people say, oh this is the best cactus ever, it's so good to have and they last a long time, and you don't need to give a lot of care to them and things like that. But honestly, I think he's C tier. It's just so annoying to work with them. It's such a hassle to be around them. They make you itchy. I, I just don't like it. I don't even think they look that good. But let's go on to another one in the Opuntia variety. That's a Microdasio Opuntia, just so you know. This is what I've heard referred to as a Maverick Opuntia. And I like this guy a bit more, but not too much more. You know, Opuntias, there aren't too many that really tickle my fancy. I'm going to place him right here in the C tier. You know, as far as looks goes, it is pretty unique. So, you know what, based on that, I'm just going to put him, you know, I'm going to put him pretty high up. You know, if something happens, he could shift up. But let's go for another one. All right, looking here, we have an Opuntia cylindrica. Very nice. I'm putting him in the S tier. He is a very different looking cactus. Compared to all these, you would never expect them to be related to something like this. He's a micro daisy. Well, he's not a micro daisy. He's a Opuntia cylindrica, and they are wonderful to look at. Really cool, almost alien appearance. And for that, it puts him in my S tier. One of my favorites to deal with. Now, here we go. I don't have a lot of time left, so I am speeding things up. Right here, we have ladyfinger cactus. Now this right here is super interesting. Um, they give off tons of those buds and they are surrounded which definitely puts them in the high A tier for me. Almost S tier. They don't hurt you when you have to deal with them. They are very unique looking 
and if you know depending on my mood that day they could go into s tier but i'm going to put them at a high a tier at least now looking at these really cool varieties this type of cactus right here which i sorry i just can't remember the name of he's got those really interesting looking nodules to him all right let's focus people there we go you can see them now they kind of stick out of the middle definitely something really cool i like working with these guys they look super awesome very unique i'm going to put them low a tier so i don't think he's as good as these guys ahead of him here but let's continue now this guy right here is amazing i love these so much they give off these awesome white flowers i am a sucker for white flowers what can i say and whenever you work around these guys it gives off a beautiful smell as well so i'm going to put him in the s tier so a wonderful guy right there now we're gonna have to finish this out pretty quickly you know what i think that's about good i'm just gonna move this guy back in here so Right here is a top-down view of my cactus tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make your own and uh, argue in the comments about if I'm right or not. Goodbye.